Ho 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 everybody, welcome back to Sakura Santa. Now we find it to this uh, Santa lady chick that I kinda like right now. But she lost a wand and we're getting a good look at her ass right here, so that's kinda nice. So let's keep talking to her. Whatever it is, it seems important to her. I have to find it or Christmas will be cancelled. She just barely manages to hold back the tears. I told you, only I get the cancel Christmas, not you. This is terrible. I don't know what to do. Uh, your panties are still showing. She flushes red as she glances down over her body. I thought I told you to stop! Yeah, yeah. Now she's up on her feet trying to force her skirt down. Uh, anyway, please forget we, that you saw that. Well, I, uh, please help me. I know you're probably busy, but I need help badly. She tugs weakly at my sleeve. It's kind of pitiful, really. Stupid homeless people. Oh, wait! Now everything makes sense. Of course, she lost part of her cosplay outfit, and she wants me to find it again. Will you help me find it? Please? Please? I keep on asking people, but nobody wants to help. Why wouldn't anybody help a sexy little bitch like me? Uh, uh, sure, I'll help. Uh, sorry about your cosplay prop. Cosplay? What is that? Isn't that what you're doing? N no, whatever it is, I'm Santa. Bitch, I'm Santa. Do you see this beard? You see this hat? You see this mustache here? This is the real Santa, motherfucker. I need to get my wand back so that Christmas happens on schedule. It would be sad if that happened. A and all the children would be sad and... and... Wow, she doesn't break character for anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I'll play along. What can it, it hurt? Sure, Santa it is then, even though I'm fucking Santa. God. Okay then, Santa. I promise I'll help you find your wand for Christmas. You will? You will? Of course, I can't disappoint all the kids out there. Well, I was, I was gonna anyway, but whatever. She leaps at me with her arms outstretched. The hug is very warm. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, where did you last see it? Um, it's around here somewhere. That's way too vague, you dumb blonde. Retrace her steps. What were you doing when you lost it? Well, I was using it to teleport to my workshop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's what the new upgrade said. It was given that the other week, but he prefers riding with magical reindeer. You know, he doesn't like teleporting. But then a gust of wind came and just blew it out of my hand. My eyes were closed, so I didn't see where it went. Must be some kind of professional actor with how into it she is. All right, well, tell me what I should be looking for. A wand, of course, made out of pure candy cane. It'll look different from the usual peppermint ones, though. So she has a candy cane wand. She's some, from some kind of magical girl show, a Christmas special, some bullshit. Uh, maybe someone thought five second rule and picked it up. Oh, I didn't think of that. She began scanning the street. Over there! That is an enormous candy cane for sure. A small boy is lugging it around. Santa starts running after him. I do too. Well, which fucking Santa's running? Whatever. At this rate, she might fall again, and I'll have a good look at her ass. Excuse me? Miraculously, she doesn't trip as she reaches him. That isn't your wand! Uh, find his keepers, it's mine! He, he clutches it to his chest with a suspicious look. Mama told me I couldn't keep it, but it's mine. Go get your own candy cane. How incredibly rude! Hey, if you just, you know, if you just flash the little boy's your titties a little bit, I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll realize what he wants for Christmas, you know? Yeah, definitely. Santa seems uh, unruffled. Was she embarrassed a moment ago? Okay, you know what? To avoid to avoid confusion, because I'm actually Santa, not this dumb bitch, we're gonna call her Santina. Okay, okay, cool. All right, that doesn't belong to you, okay? I don't care. It's mine now. Oh boy, you about to get some coal in your stocking from a good beating from Santa Claus of five across the ass. He looks like he's about to cry, like a little bitch that he is. Santina kneels down to his height, looking him in the eye. Kano, you can't just run off like that. Kano? Kano from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> does, does, does he have a cybernetic eye or some bullshit? Your mother loves you. She knows that you want that stuffed teddy bear for Christmas. Well, how does she know his name? H huh? How do you... Of course I... Of course I know you, Kano. You freaking rip out hearts in Mortal Kombat. I know you feel angry right now, probably to the point of ripping out my heart, but you need to remember, you can still do the right thing by not ripping out someone's heart. Wow, it actually seems like it's working. She's some kind of cat herder. Listen, I know you found it first, but that one belongs to me. What should you do with things that don't belong to you? You, 
you give them back. That's right. That's what a good boy would do. So are you going to be a good boy this year, Kano? Are you not going to tear out the hearts of people? <laughs> that kid looks down at the giant candy cane in his tiny hands. I can see him tearing up, tearing up a little bit. Well, tearing from his one eye, not his, not his cybernetic eye. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad. I'll, I'll be a good boy, Santa. I promise. She pats him on the head. That's a good boy, Kano. He hands her wand back to her. In spite of her apparent clumsiness, she suddenly has the grace of a drum marionette, uh, Marjorette, with that candy cane in her hands. Sparkles outline her twirling movements. Is it? It's snow! It's snow falling from her hands! Kano just looks on in awe. Y y you really are Santa. He's totally stupefied. I'm probably wearing the same expression. Yeah, I mean, I can't sprinkle fucking snow dust from my hands. Of course, Kano. Remember to be good for your mother this year. I'll make sure that you get your teddy bear. As long as you promise me you'll behave. You should return things that don't belong to you, right? Y you're right, Santa. She sounds so motherly in spite of her cuteness. This is this is a one fucked up gender bender, I swear to God. What if fucking I let Mrs. Claus do this shit from now on? <laughs> Alright, I can't do that. Forceps running faster than the rest of the crowd catch my attention. There you are, Kano! I was so worried about you! His mother, I'm sure. Kano looks up to her. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't want to scare you. She sweeps him up into a hug. I'm so sorry. Okay, I can't do this many fucking voices. She finally notices us. My son wasn't causing trouble, was he? No, not at all. He's a good boy. Oh, good. He is a good boy. Thank you for looking after him. Don't worry about it. Be good, Kato. I'll keep my promise if you do. He nods so rapidly, I wonder if his head will fall off. I promise, Santa. I'll remember. Mother and child walk off hand in hand. I'm just standing there for a moment trying to process what the fuck just happened there. <laughs> so, uh, how did you know his name and all that? I told you, I'm Santa. Bitch, I'm Santa. Dear God. Don't you have a song about this? I'm keeping a list, checking it twice. Oh, I'm gonna find out who's naughty. Yeah, you're naughty. But I'm nice. Not just kidding, I'm also naughty. <laughs> no, this has to be some elaborate setup. I point without even looking at someone down the street. Who's that? Her name is Ta Tamika. She wants to see her grandfather for Christmas. Don't you worry, she's been a really good girl this year. I'm about to open my mouth when the girl walks by with a man who must be her father. I heard that your grandfather is getting better, Tamika. He's going to be able to visit us for Christmas. I can't wait to see him. Oh, God, that's the same goddamn voice. I can't wait to see him this year. He can't wait to see you either. My jaw gave stupidly in amazement. How, how, how do, can you know this? I barely even know this some nights. I can't even remember my own ex-wife's name. I told you, I'm Santina. Santina. I know your name too, Koji. No, you don't. I'm Santa. Holy crap, this bitch. <laughs> How do you know that? I remember everyone's names. The list is in my head. I keep running out of paper otherwise. That makes sense, but no, it's impossible. There's only one Santa Claus. Why did I not know this girl sooner? I would have banged her in a second. But this girl's face seems so honest and pure. She wouldn't lie. But there's a problem. Uh, what's that? I don't know what you want for Christmas. Children's hearts are open and I can hear their wishes loud and clear. But as the years draw on and people become more careful, more guarded, their hearts become closed to me. So for helping me, Santa, what would you like Santina to get you for Christmas this year? You. Give me you. Huh? But I just stood around. You don't owe me for that. No, no, I never would have thought to look for someone taking it. You've been a big help. Now Christmas will remain on schedule. So please, tell me what you want for Christmas. She hooks the cane around one of my wrists and claps, cla claps my other hand in hers, guiding them to my own chest. Jesus Christ. Well? Yes, what is it you want? What I'd really like is to have people to spend Christmas with. Oh. She seems taken aback by that. You're lonely, aren't you? I can see it. Her eyes stare into me intently. You've always been a good boy, Santa. I know. I remember that. She lets me go and withdraws a step, mulling things over. Well, if I work really hard, I should be able to have all the preparations ready for Christmas early. Yes, that is the clear solution. She looks back to me, smiling brightly. I will spend Christmas with you, Santa. Her? Santa? 
Hey, Santino! With Christmas? Santa's real happy right now. You, you don't spend Christmas with me? Yes, I'll make sure that you aren't lonely. Now, what are you... Now, was it that you lived? That's not a sentence. I moved here recently. I have a new apartment. That's right. I know exactly where you are. I'll be sure to visit you sometime this week. Okay. I have to catch up on the preparations, but I'll see you again, Santa. Uh, okay. I'll see you later, Santina. Goodbye, Santa. Soon. You know, with that, she vanishes in a puff of snow. My God, I am... I'm not as cool as I used to be. I, uh, I don't even know what to make of all this. A fox spirit... A childhood friends and Santina Claus did everything weird in my life to have happen on the same day around the best freaking holiday. Dot 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 dot. I'm never gonna get tired of that. So, what do I want to do now? A fox, a friend, and a fable all went to spend time with me. What's going on here? I was worried about Christmas being lonely, but now I'm worried about making it out alive. My, my favorite room, my dick will be intact. I'll probably be fine, but there's only seven days until Christmas. Well, maybe for you, I got like freaking three more days left to finish these goddamn videos. So that means only so much time between all of them. Well, they did all kind of say I could spend as much time with them as I want. So I guess I get to decide. But who do I spend the day with? Oh shit. Oh God, Santa's got to choose? Mm, well, not gonna lie. I kind of want to spend the, the day with Santina. Okay, I guess I'll just relax today. I don't really need to go out all the time, right? Santa! Santa! Oh shit, she's here! Who was that? Was it... Santina? I hear her voice somewhere! Santa, help! It's coming from behind the window! Opening the curtain reveals her clinging desperately to the windowsill. Santa, let me in! Questions can happen later. I open the window to the chilly wind and pull her... right on my chest. All over myself, apparently. I pull too hard and lose my balance. Her breasts wind up squeezing against my face. Ah, oh, it's great. Santa, are you okay? My words don't come out except as muffled noises. What was that? I can't hear you. My hands flail to grasp her so shoulders, and I push her up and off of me. Sweet, life-giving air floods in as I gasp for breath, but instead I slick my tongue out of her nips. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. She jumps to her feet, and I slowly stand up. So you knew where I live? But why did you just knock like a normal human? I, I got nervous. I thought I was going to get lost in the apartment complex. So, so I took the quickest route to your home. I suppose that's fair. I mean, I don't have a chimney. You probably get down it a little bit smoother than me. She seems upset by the whole thing, so I should drop it. Next time, call before you come. I'll show you the way. Thank you, Santa. I'm not going to ask how she managed to reach my window. She probably fucking flew up with... You know, reindeers and bullshit. After all that's happened, I've realized that applying logic to this week simply isn't going to work. I've managed to get in plenty of work, so I have some time off. Did I just meet you a few hours ago? You're already done. <laughs> so we can spend time together. She begins to look around my apartment. Not very Christmassy around here. Well, I didn't buy any decorations yet. You know, I, I couldn't get any from Mrs. Claus. Why not? Because I thought that I was going to be alone for Christmas. Well, that's no longer the case. There's no way I can allow your apartment to be so barren, Santa. It's time for some Christmas spirit. Spirit? You got booze? Give, give, me Santa, give Santa some booze. She pulls out her wand and begins twirling it. Hold my hand for a moment, Santa. Uh, hold your hand. She reaches out with one hand, the other still twirling the candy cane. Yes, there's something I want you to see. My hand clamps with her own. Now close your eyes. This part is a secret. I guess I'll just roll with it then, okay. Can I open my eyes right? Of course. Holy crap. You took me back home? Where are we? This is my workshop. Bitch, this is my workshop. God. I don't like you all of a sudden. Santa's workshop? But don't question it, Santa. It's fine. It's your workshop. Let the crazy bitch pretend that it's her workshop. Once Mrs. Claus meets her, I'm sure she'll beat her dumb little ass outside. Just don't question it. Right. Your workshop. Now then, let's make some decorations. My family taught me how to make them, so I think I'm pretty good at it. You mean there's an entire family of Santanas? I thought I was just spawned into the universe to freaking give children gifts for Christmas. Yep, we look after different parts of the world. So is there a Santa with a big belly and a red beard? You're talking about Dad? 
Holy shit, are you my daughter? We're gonna have a real daddy complex going on here. You mean that? Santa Claus? It's I'm your fucking dad? Yep. Would you like to meet him? Are we creating some kind of space parent time paradox bullshit here? Maybe he'll have time after Christmas is over. This week just gets so fucking weird. I find out I have a daughter. I find out I like my daughter's tits. Oh boy. I guess in a world this big, it makes sense. No, it really doesn't myself. Why am I fucking thinking this? Even with magic, one person can only do so much. How big is your family, Santina? Let me think. Her face screws up with a thoughtful expression. She even lightly bangs the candy cane on her skull, cracking it open like an egg. Sorry, I lost count. Oh my god, that's how many of you there are? Well, of course. Making toys for billions of children is not that easy. What kind of morality does Father Claus possess? And what about Mrs. Claus? She's fucking divorced me. Your mom left us, baby. <laughs> this is too much. Even though knowing magic is involved somehow, I can hardly believe it. Still, I have to admit, I'm curious about the Claus family and the daughter I never knew I had. Anyway, since we have this much time, I can make some quality decorations. She turns to her workbench as she speaks. Then her hands speed up into a blur. She grabs various things and starts putting them together. Done. She bounces back to me, Christmas lights almost spilling out of her arms. Let's go back and decorate your apartment. There's no way I'm going to let you have holiday blues. Oh, uh, thank you, but... But... Uh, how do we get back? That's easy. Just close your eyes again. Oh, boy. Let's do this. One, two, three. A sharp clap is audible next to me. Open them. What the fuck? Yep. Back. No. Open your eyes, you dumb bitch. Huh? She finally turns around and notice where she is. Is this a lingerie store? Bitch, it is. And I'll buy you one. <laughs> it seems so. I am so sorry, Santa. This doesn't usually happen. Are you sure? Are you... Well, maybe sometimes. Are you sure well, you're maybe not wet down there? You just kind of TP off to whatever place suits you best? She's awfully clumsy and absent-minded. I bet this kind of thing happens all the time. C -c Close your eyes again. Oh, gosh. You're going to fucking change into one? Maybe she'll take me back to my apartment for real this time. One, two, three. Another clapping sound, I go through the air, and boom, here we are. Finally, we make it back safe and sound. Hey, Santa, looks like it worked this time. Wait, where is she? I looked around, but Santina is nowhere to be found. Santina, where'd you go? Then I nearly trip over a bump on the floor. Oh! Santina is sprawled out on the floor of my apartment, completely dazed and covered in tinsel and whites. Her lovingly crafted Christmas decorations were scattered everywhere, covering her. Eh? Help! I can't move! She rides within the wires and ornaments, but she's stuck. If anything, she only gets herself more entangled. To make matters worse, her skirt has been flipped up. D -d Don't look under my skirt! My, my, my panties! D this is the second time you've seen them! Yeah, well, maybe you weren't so fucking stupid. Oh, God damn. Look, don't worry about your panties, okay? It's hot. And you, you, I, I, uh, God damn it, she's my daughter. Okay, that's about all the time I got for today, because this is just getting really fucking weird. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out more Sakura Santa coming your way. Now I'll see you guys next time. Ho, ho, bye-bye! <laughs>